What's up guys, I got this static pressure test kit from True Tech Tools. Now, I'm gonna head to the roof and I'm gonna check external static pressure on a package rooftop unit. I've seen a ton of videos of techs doing this on their furnace or furnaces they're servicing, but never on a package rooftop. So we're gonna take you through it and show you how to do it. We should probably be doing this on startup of the equipment because it's gonna give us a baseline, right? And a history moving forward if we have any problems with airflow with, with that unit in the future. This video is brought to you by Harago.com, a trades-only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com, best in trade. Okay guys, this is a static pressure tip. Now if we look at the end here, it's fully closed up, right? It's just, it's just got a point on it. And on the side here, we have our openings. We have two on either side. And then we have a magnet there that's going to help it keep attached to the side of the equipment. And then we have our connection point there that the tubing is going to go into. So what we want to do is we want to put this, this point here opposing airflow. So if the air is coming downwards like this, we want to oppose airflow with the tip and the air is going to enter these holes basically perpendicular to the airflow. Okay, The holes are perpendicular to the airflow and then we're going to take that measurement through that end there that our hose is attached to. So when we check external static pressure of a package rooftop unit, we want to check it in two places. We want to check it where the air enters the machine. The return air is right behind this and I'll show you guys in a minute and where the air leaves the machine, which is through that supply air right there behind that panel. Luckily, we have some pre-drilled holes. I took the cap out of that one, and we have a pre-drilled hole with a cap in it over here. So we want to take air entering and air leaving, the static pressure, and add those two numbers together to get external static pressure of this rooftop unit. So here's the panel open to the return air and our hole in the panel sits somewhere around here. So we're going to put our pressure tip in and we're going to point it down towards the airstream. So here's the supply air opening right here. Our air is moving downwards. Here's the hole right here. So we're going to put the static pressure tip in and we're going to point the probe upwards to oppose airflow. So once we have those two set up, we'll take our reading. So we're just going to put the tip in carefully and then when we get it in there, it's got a magnet so it stays in place, that magnet's pretty strong. So here's the return air tip, this one will go in like this and again the magnet is going to hold it there in position. So the kit actually comes with one large length of tubing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take about the halfway point and I'm going to cut it and then that way I'm left with two open ends that I can put into my manometer to take a reading. Okay so I have my manometer here and it's got a magnet on it which is very very handy so we can stick it to the side of the unit. So what we want to do is we want to take our tubing that comes from the return air and we want to put that into the negative side of the manometer and the tubing that comes from the supply air, we want to put that into the positive side of the manometer. Now if we look at the nameplate on this particular unit, we have an indication here. It says maximum external static pressure, two inches water column. So we want to be underneath that. Okay, so we have the fan running, the manometer's on, the tubing's hooked up, and we're reading our external static pressure right now, and we're at one point two, three, it's jumping around a little bit, but that's not a big deal because it's staying very close. Now, if you want to see the static pressure of just the return, we're going to pull the supply out, okay, and there is our return static. So in turn, to check the supply static pressure, we're going to pull off the return tubing. Now you can see from both readings that our supply static is much higher than the return static. That means that we have more restriction or more resistance on the supply side. 
Now this unit's a couple years old, two, three years old, and we haven't had any issues in particular with this machine. And we are under the maximum of, of the, the 2.0 external static pressure that they wanna see on this unit. So we might have to look into this a little bit further. The ductwork might not be sized correctly, but we do have a very large differential between supply and return at the moment. But take it as a grain of salt for now. That is how we check external static pressure of a rooftop unit. We wanna check air in, we wanna check air out. We wanna hook our manometer up to the tubing using static pressure tips, ensuring that the tip is pointing down towards airflow or up towards airflow depending on which way the air is going. We just want to oppose airflow with the tip because what that tip does is it kind of breaks up the air as it's passing by it. And we want those holes that are drilled into the side of that static pressure tip to take the air reading perpendicular to the airflow. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Happy HVACing.